huge object. Wow, look at that. Wow, look it, it started out, I bought it for five euros in, in, in a bookstore. And the original name of the book was called Charlotte and Her Friend. Charlotte et ses amis. And so I just basically rewrote it with words and images, or subtracting. I won't show you the whole thing. This, this was the first page. All right. And then, it's all cake with paint. So then, then I did that. Ah. I just used subtraction. Uh huh. And then I just started doing these super quick. So I do five a day. Uh huh. You know, work on a theme, work with the sun material until I, I used it all up. Then move to something else. Uh huh. Used it up. Kind of, you know, changed it. Wonderful. So there's 160 of these, and I did it, oh, I don't know, in about a month. Wow. I wish we could have this whole book here. <laughs> yeah. It's gorgeous. Keeps on going. And then the book just gets thicker and thicker because I'm like, oh, I'll just glue that piece of wood into this. <laughs> See, it looks like they're coming off. That is so. great. <laughs> they're clean. Would you, would you say this book? You know, the idea was just Charlie. to not really care whether something was big or small. It was just to work on it and really make the thing go. Mm. And then this is just paint. Ah, look at that. Mm. Yeah, it becomes... So then I, I did a little more, you know, structured. With bits and pieces of words and type. I suppose it's more about design, but they're all primary colors. Yeah. And then I go kind of go through that, and then I then I oh yeah, this is fun. Then after I did that bit, then I <laughs> second part. <laughs> it's like you know complete chaos and nonsense, and then it's like oh here's the second part, as if there's like some structure after all. Yeah. <laughs> And so then I did this, and, th and these have a slightly different feel, I guess. I use more people here. Instead of boys, I call them goys. <laughs> <laughs> so. so, and then here's, a, this is like a piece of wood. Yeah. You can see the surface. Yeah. This is from an orange crate. People with guns. I guess I was thinking of Colorado, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunate, yeah. This, this is, and then there's a, like some good experiments here. This is a guy who is, um, doesn't really know what it is. Anyway, this is a one page glued onto another page with completely different text. Mm. It's hard to see it. But, I mean, the way you'd right. read it, it makes no sense. But it, this, in the process of just working really quickly, this falls on the page, and I say, oh, I'll just glue that down. So, you know, it just keeps on going. Then things got a little minimal, then they got maximal. This is a, a Popeye that's been sort of printed. Then these are just these are words that were left over. This says uh, uh, divided uh, bourgeois kings. <laughs> That's great. So it's like you know I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. This is a cherry box. So it just keeps on going and going. And it gets super, you know, caked. The cigarette package I found on Long Island. <laughs> Some targets. And then, this is like a poem. I'll read the poem. And then I'll stop showing you the book. It's, it's impossible to... 
So here we go. I really like we're children, and uh, I'm trying to put you to bed. It's called the charades, the charade. When the party was over, Jack, hot little Kate, upset, all blow them all nice. Just as she came, what for a rose? So now, hot Edna handed mother, mother, as Charlotte, mother. So that's that. <sighs> So now everyone can go to sleep. <laughs> oh, there's beautiful. more. There's more. It's, it's a second part of that story. Jacko, their world. Oh, sorry. Jacko, their would who, Mary, cockle, spy, try, why, a big hen called Blackie would not come out of her nest to let May get the egg which she had laid. <laughs> and there, there it's completely illustrated. You can tell, so so all the boys and girls can follow closely. <laughs> anyway, oh, then here, so this is one of the last ones. It's kind of like a Cecil to Sean collage. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, it's getting unwieldy. See how big it is? It weighs about yeah. It's So Matthew, have you had any paranormal experiences? <laughs> paranormal. <laughs> No, I haven't. Why? Oh. Are they good to have? <laughs> I should, have you? Maybe. But this is this is about you. So. <laughs> no, I wish I did. You know, and I'm, I, I, I'm, I don't make any of these things like on drugs or even on alcohol. I mean, it's... You'd think I would, right? I wouldn't know, no. <laughs> no, it's just I like wake up and there they are. Okay. It's like I have to gather the you know the little bits and pieces together and organize them so they can mm. you know they have a place to live mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> together. So, but I tell you, it's 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 better than going to work. Well, it is work. It is, but I you know the other day I was in my pajamas till at not eight nine o'clock at night. <laughs> it's just like straight through. If I have food in the house, cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a great life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the thing is, you, <laughs> it's hard to make a living that way. Yeah. <laughs> I dream of being able to make my living as a the fact that I'm <laughs> basically working in my pajamas all the time. But you think I'm Howard Hughes. <laughs> Long fingernails and living in a penthouse. 